teeth of the storm is the only way we're gonna make it through this! Unless it rips us to shreds first, that's not gonna happen. Just like everything else. Have your word on that, Captain? <laughs> Captain's honor. I'm gonna go check on Babe Cruz! I don't remember worse than this, do you? Prom me, prom me. Storm that I see, flee from me. Well, just keep trying. Come oh, through. How's your water pump working? Wonderful. If I can't begin to keep up with the water, at this rate of intake, I predict we'll be swamped in an hour. It's not a calculation I care to hear about. Well, oh, sorry, but for what? My word. What? Is it? Conjuring. Oh, help! Oh, men coming aboard! Oh, help me! Are there more of you? One more. He's in the longboat. Help me! Help me! Don't leave me here! He's drifting off! Hey! Draw the boat in closer! He'll never make it. Are you his captain? Hey! Command him to pick up the oars! He's too far off. He's lost. What is his name? His name. The man in the boat. What is his name? Hackman. Hackman. Draw the boat in closer. Roll, man. Roll. Try. You can make it. Now what? Hold her steady, Rangar. Don't. It's a curse. There's a manager. He's frozen in panic. Who is he? One of mine. Just one more of my men. Have men draw the boat in closer! Quickly, before you're dragged out to sea! Come on, man! Whoa! Whoa! Why isn't he moving? Because the boat's bewitched. Oh, he's caught in the currents. They're treacherous here. Rondo! Bring the nomad about! Now stay calm! Stay calm! We'll try to pick you up. Save me! By the gods, he's not moving. Don't panic! Please! Bring it in! What? Ah! 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 Save me! Ah! Ah! Hackman! Hackman! Sinbad! It's too treacherous! He grabbed him! So they pulled him under! Hackman! Hackman! He's gone, little brother. Like so many before him, the cruel sea punishes its trespassers.
seven days. It's a long time to be in an open boat. Too long. Far too bloody long. But we had no other choice. I mean, we tried to save all we could. It was to no avail. What was it caused her to sink? Well, we were in uncharted waters. They proved treacherous. How so? Well, the world pulls one day, dead calm the day after, sea demons the next. Name it a plagued us. Do we need to talk on it? Do we? It's over now. We're safe. Why did you sail into uncharted waters? Oh, treasure hunt. Steadfast search for a priceless possession. That being? Poseidon's trident. What? You heard him. Poseidon's trident. Poseidon is a creature of myth. No doubt serving a religious purpose, but no basis in fact. Poseidon's trident is the sacred scepter of power of all the sea gods of old. Well, granted, it's a symbol, but its verifiable existence is... Tell it to our dead, our bloody dead. He's back, friend. Tello, sit back down. Don't tell me what I've seen with my own eyes. Ah! Come for us here, just like I said. But you said it wouldn't. That's what you said. Could we survive in that boat? Could we? And we had one chance. This is that chance. It uh, surprised me, Captain. Surprised me. Rongar, what's the problem? It's no barrel of monkeys. It's an omen. No, no such conclusion need be drawn. Can you drink? Rats are known for their bountiful breeding practices. I sense their presence here means something quite different. What do you sense? Something has changed. I feel it. Something is with us now. Something that means it's no good will. Me? You give me the willies when you talk like that. What sense is it to? All right. You and Dermot keep your eyes peeled. Meanwhile, I want the rest of us to set all sails. We're gonna be a long way from here come nightfall. Maybe we should tell them. Get it out in the open. Tell them what? Do you have any firm notion of what happened to us out there? I know it haunts us. Hunts us. Just sleep, man. Sleep, he says. I'll never sleep again. Don't tell me you can't hear them. Maroof, get back here! We can't go on like this. We will go on like this. You're starting to sound spineless. And you know how I feel about men with no spines. Deal. Mine. What? Do you hear something, Rangar? Now don't start getting jumpy. Isn't it enough we've already lost a night's sleep? Dawn's almost upon us. We're all having difficulty sleeping. If I'd spent a week in an open boat, I'd be sleeping like a rock. Actually, rocks have no consciousness and therefore no experience of sleep. You gonna wear the spots off those furus? Rongar, play my hand. And where are you going? Just wanna check topside. Did you get a chill? Or like somebody just walked on my grave. I 
Unable to sleep, too? Nothing seems able to rest tonight. Have you been able to figure any of this out yet? Only that I don't like it. Have you seen the roof? Right. Did you talk to him? I tried. But he breezed right past and has kept his distance. I'll go give it a try. It's a fair night on a calm sea. The fair only hides the foul. I think you'd be wanting sleep. A man can want, and in that want, he only gets what he deserves. You survived. The sea offered you a second chance. Take comfort in that. I wish I could. It's your longboat. You must have drifted back here. But we want the full sails. How did it get here? How? It's only a boat sailor. Hey, it can't harm you. Can't it? You don't know what harm comes to me. You don't know the half of it. Then tell me of it. I talked with them not more than a minute ago. Farouz. He tried. And from the looks of him, it appears he's been dead at least a week. How could he have drowned that quickly? And on deck? It can't be possible. I wish it could state otherwise. But this body's been decomposing for at least a week. What next? Oh, well, we've lost all sail. Which means we're back to being dead in the water. There's got to be a rational explanation for all of this. Dubar? Sinbad, look!
I think the two of you need to look at this as well. Maroof is dead on deck. And it appears that he's been dead for quite some time. Tell us what you know. We have nothing to say. I'm not going to risk my ship and my crew because of your dark secrets. What? Plan to put us back in the longboat and cast us back into the sea? No. I'm not going to do that. I merely want you to tell us the truth about what happened to you. I don't believe you're ready for that truth. And I'm not ready to tell it to you. Fine. But I want you to haul that out. Can't make us. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Tello! Those guys give me the creeps. Think of the horrors they've been through. But did they bring it upon themselves? One thing's for sure. They brought it here. Double the watch till morning. And tell Maeve I want to talk to her. Tell her to bring to her. Yes. Yeah. Whatever happened on deck, Dermot saw it all. Can you ask him what it was? I can try. Hey, what happened to Maroof? How did he die? Drowned. How can a man drown in less than a minute? I don't know. But that's what Dermot revealed to me. At least the wind is back with us. Naturally. The powers of darkness have passed. I want us to head for the nearest harbor. And deposit our uninvited guests on shore? Good idea. It's about time we got back to our own crew and our own course. According to my charts, we're very near the island of Devatitva. Dubar, set the tiller for there. Farouz, show them where the island is. Maeve, Runger, keep an eye on our passengers. All right. The day. Leading to what? Our continuing survival. That's what you call this? Think of what our options were. How far back do you want me to go? Back to when I signed on to sail with you, that day of the first curse? Don't blame me for your accursed life. That I don't. You and I just brought out the worst in each other. Temptation itched. We both wanted to scratch. You don't know what you're talking about, so why don't you just quit talking? Oh, I'm through giving a thought, and I'm through listening to you and her. Not another day, not one. Just calm down. She doesn't appear in the light of day. No. So let's just go up on the deck. No, I said, I'm through listening to you. Not a word, not a bloody word! I am still your captain. Then call this a mutiny of one. <laughs> I'll slice you. 
got it. You got it. No one's here to harm you. Harm? Harm's been done. What's become of me? Can't you see? Can't you? I'm the walking dead. Just ready to drop. You've been through a terrible ordeal. Your healing will take time. My time is running out. Now, I want all of you to leave me alone. You heard me! Leave! What's the matter? They were fighting. We, we pulled him apart, but now the one's locked himself in the cabin and he's armed and I'm afraid he might tend to do harm to himself. What happened? He's gone mad. There's nothing I can do about it. You're right. That opportunity passed. Tubar! Rangar! Follow me!
case of a drowning victim. Only if the victim drowned a week ago. No. I don't have the answers. I'm not gonna get some. Tell us! We're not leaving this room until you tell us exactly what happened to you and your crew. I met an old mariner in a seaport tavern. Boasted of having a map. An ancient map to an island. Or a rocky perch where a Poseidon would rise from the depths of sun himself. A spot to, where the sea god would occasionally leave his trident. His solid gold trident. And you believed him? I wish I hadn't. This mariner, he just gave you this map. Tello took it from him. But first he had to kill him. Cursed by spilled blood. We set sail for this uh, speck of an island. Now arriving in the general area, we set to trolling from our longboat. Why always travel to my top? For days we searched, found nothing. Then I spotted it. The sunlight glistening off the gold of the trident. We set our backs to rowing, but a... But what? Well, a dolphin surfaced alongside us. It seemed to warn us to turn back. It was your enemy. One of Poseidon's sirens. A sea spirit that can change her form to help or hinder sailors. Whoever it was, it wouldn't leave us. It wouldn't allow us to get closer. So I uh, grabbed up a harpoon and speared it through. Why would you do that? Because I had to remain in command. What followed? The dolphin rolled over in the water. Dying, moaning, staring at us with its blackening eye. When it cried its last, it was no longer the sound of an animal. It was the voice of a woman. And it disappeared beneath the waves. Foolish. Foolish men. Did you reach the island? Uh, with his departure, a sudden storm roared up from nowhere. It forced us back to our main ship. Oh, that wind howled and lashed at us. And the other crew members, oh, they swore they heard a woman's voice on the crest of that wind. They became good for nothing. Despicable. So I, I, I ordered... I ordered my top mates into the longboat and we left the others to their petty despair. You what? They were useless. I had no choice. You abandoned them? Yes, I did. And when we left them, still they wailed like crying, pathetic children. <sighs> there is no more grievous sin than abandoning ship and crew. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Some sacrifices must be made. For the lust of gold? Yes! You never saw it. You never felt its pull, its thrill. And it waits for us still. All I need is a ship and an obedient crew. died. That's because we've returned. Its beckoning call has summoned us back. They 
say we tie this madman up. But you're not the captain. But I am. Confine this man to his quarters. Wrong answer. You're all going to do my bidding, or she dies. Now move to the other quarters. Now! Get in there. All but you. You stay out here with us. Now, if any devil comes looking to even the score, it'll find you. This is your curse. Not ours. I'm more than willing to share. And if I see any of your faces above deck, she dies. Barricade the door. Quickly! Make sure it keeps him there. No! Not just yet. Sinbad, may I remind you that a loony has just taken control of our ship. A loony who also has a blade at Maeve's throat. Sinbad's right. We must exercise care. As soon as they depart, we'll make our move. Leave the weapons. Now topside. Move! new orders and those orders will be coming from me they're gone well then heave ho <sighs> damnation yes we're not having much luck with doors today are we i hesitate to consider what von Dassel's intentions might involve well at this point he certainly seems to hold all the cards and still overplaying his hand but one good trump card and he's gonna be a loser Let's just hope we get dealt that card. We need to wedge something in there and leverage the door open. Leverage, coming up. <laughs> Done. Ah, oh, that'll hold her. Now man the shore boat. And make sure it's my shore boat, not yours. To that. None of us do. We've got to get out of here. Over the nearby area, man. Everywhere. Versailles. Versailles. Let my binds have time. Uh, cover the water quickly. Put your backs into it, man. Travel west and look for a rocky spit. There lies the golden shrine of Poseidon. Bring it back by sundown, or the woman dies. Don't find it, and I'll leave you out in the open sea. Razor Vet, Razor V, bring his swords to me. Razor Vet, Razor V, bring his swords to me. One more step, and you're shark for it. Now get in the boat. All of you! If 
find that island or be lost at sea! Now! <laughs> Dave, stand back. No. She's not here to do us harm. Are you? Your enemy? They harbored you. We're not a part of those men. We're merely innocent bystanders who have fallen under your attacker's control. We now share the same enemy, and if you'll let us, we'll right this wrong. Regain our ship. That's at the top of my to-do list. Don't worry. We can manage this one ourselves. Von Tassel! Yield! Or face your death. No. Punishment. For transgressing the gods and abandoning their crew, he and his top mates became the unholy. Wrong. We became invincible. I mean, the four of us pledged ourselves to our evil and greed. It was a bond that, that filled our longboat with dark power. I mean, a power that, that kept us safe and it will keep me safe again. Your soul is damned. You can't survive. Oh, I can. I will. I defy any and all who try to stop me. See, once I have the Poseidon's trident in my hand, all dominion and wealth will become mine. Mine! <laughs> Sinbad! Something's rising from the depths! storm, didn't they? Appears so. As always, greed led them into treacherous waters. And they incurred the wrath of the gods. Traded their souls for gold. Always a bad exchange rate. Well put, big brother. Look! Could it be her? Yes. 